Kodi is now available in the Windows Store. Kodi for Windows will not be compatible with any Windows 10 device just yet. Only on Windows 10 x86, running on a desktop, laptop, or tablet. Windows 10 Mobile, Xbox, and IoT, that's any ARM device, are not compatible for running this from the store. Uh, people are asking, when will Kodi be available for Windows 10 Mobile? Again, Windows 10 Mobile, RT, and IoT will be a more difficult option because they are ARM-based. Another big question I'm hearing is, uh, is this thing going to come full circle uh, back to the Xbox platform? Xbox One is running a uh, x86 processor and Windows 10. However, uh, they must publish the app to the Xbox Store when they are ready. Uh, is Cody going back to its Xbox roots? Remember, they did change the name of XBMC, formerly Xbox Media Center, to Cody to distance themselves from their Xbox roots. Uh, the old Xbox devices had to be hacked, and now Microsoft welcomes them legitimately in their store. Installing the application from the Windows Store also places your file in a different file path. Uh, it'll no longer be located in App Data. Uh, roaming Kodi folder. Uh, I will add the path in the description of this video. Uh, for the ones who want to put the new advanced settings XML and uh, sources XML in the, in the uh, user folder, uh, I will again uh, add the path in the description of this video. So let's get started right now and get uh, Kodi on this Windows 10 computer. Uh, if you're looking at the screen, you can see already that I've already opened up the, uh, the Windows Store and uh, we're very simply just going to search for Kodi and here we go there's the Kodi app so you can face with this screen um, and uh, if you just press the word get it's going to start working and uh, starting the download so the all right, so the Kodi application has just uh, installed on the device. We're going to go ahead and uh, launch it. Uh, we're going to allow access here. All right, so we uh, we just installed Kodi 17 from the Windows Store. Since we uh, have loaded it from the Windows Store, that means that uh, this thing will pretty much update on its own. Um, so, I'm back to the uh, subject of the file path. So the new path is now going to be found uh, first in uh, C drive, and then you're going to click User. All right, and here you're going to uh, you're going to find your profile name, uh, I'm Agent 86. All right, you're going to click on App Data. Now, here's the thing. At this point, if you can't see the App Data folder, what I want you to do is come up here, all right, and where it says Hidden Items, I want you to check it. And now you can see the App Data folder. So, App Data. So before we would come into roaming and that we would find the Kodi folder in there, but now it's in the local folder. And when you click on the local folder, you're going to look for packages. All right. And then you're going to be looking for this folder that says XBMC Foundation All right. Excuse me. Then we're going to go to local cache then roaming and here is our Kodi folder so if you wanted to uh, to make uh, any changes delete add-ons or uh, add uh, some thumbnails in, the, in your media folder or if you wanted to uh, add an advanced settings XML you go into like your user data and uh, you know this is where your your source XML and your advanced settings XML would go. So, well, now that we got Cody on this thing, I guess it's time to uh, throw some add-ons. So, I'm going to leave you here. If you guys got any questions, uh, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment below.
and uh, thanks for watching.